My name is Sarah, and in 2010, I um, went through a divorce, and um, my husband, I met him when I was 14, and we started dating. I was almost 15, and um, we were together until a week before my 30th birthday. So when he left, it kind of tore my world apart. Um, that was 15 years of my life that was just ripped away from me. And it was like an open wound, just part of me was gone. Like I just had, you know, a um, very hard time dealing with it. I didn't know anyone personally that I could call up and say, hey, how did you handle your divorce? Um, you know, what did you do? You know, get advice from anything. All I knew is I knew that I had God. That's the only person that I knew to go to about it. Um, of course, my mom would, you know, give me comfort with things that she would say to me, but ultimately, you know, she and my dad had been married at the time for, you know, 32 years, so I, I didn't really, you know, understand. She didn't understand my point um, where I was coming from. She could just comfort me with her words, which it did, but ultimately I had God. I mean, I would go through my days and, um, you know, just make it through the day. I was trying to make it a day at a time, and I had my two boys, um, which was 10 and four at the time, so I had to be strong for them. And, um, you know, when the day would end, I would just go to my room and shut my door and kind of just melt. And um, sometimes I would even make it to the bed, to melt into the bed. Sometimes I just fell on the floor. and. Um, all I could do was cry out to God, and He gave me that strength that I needed. And I knew, I knew enough to know that the devil meant that to devour me, to destroy me, and um, I had enough of God in me to say, "I'm, I'm not letting that happen. I cannot let that happen." So I stood on God's word and. Every day, all I could do was just pray and pour myself into the Word. Before that, I'd never been through a crisis in my life. I'd never been through something that hard in my life ever. And so I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about um, strengths that I didn't know that I had, but I also learned about a lot of weaknesses that I didn't know that I had. And so in those times, I just asked God, you know, don't let this be in vain, God. Teach me what you need to teach me, even through this, even while I'm in pain, even through the suffering, even through um, the discord, the, just the hurt that was going on in my life. Lord, teach me something because I don't want to come through this not having learned anything from God. And I wanted it to be from God, and He did. I mean, now looking back, um, five years later, I can see God was holding my hand the entire time and my strength definitely came from Him every single day. God was so faithful to me. He provided for me, you know, every step of the way and I'm just so grateful, I'm so thankful that, you know, He extends that grace to us even through our times of hurting, even through our times of pain, suffering, whatever we're going through, even though, like for me, I didn't have anybody else to turn to, to ask, you know, advice, things like that. He was still there for me. Um, he gave me the strength that I needed and um, to keep me strong every single day. Um, the song Alabaster Boxes really um, has always stood out to me, but even more so, um, when I sang it on Good Friday, you know, it really hit home because um, I hadn't sang it since I've gotten divorced. And, and the part where it comes and says, you know, she poured her life without measure into this little treasure box. 
you know, I poured everything that I had into my marriage, to my family, and, um, and then it's kind of taken away from you. And, you know, you, um, you don't know what people are going through. Um, some things look fine on the outside, you know. Yeah, sometimes you can hold it together pretty good and, you know, still get that smile out there, but you don't know what these people are going through that you come in contact with every day. And in the song it says, you don't know the cost of my praise, what I gave for that box of oil. And so that, it just reaches down into my heart. It touches me because you don't know what I went through to stand here and say now that I can praise God and say thank you God for what you've done in my life. Thank you God for the things that you have that turn for the good, that the devil meant for harm for me, you turn them and you work them for my good. You don't know what I went through to get here to where I am today to say, God, I'm gonna serve you. I'm gonna still serve you through it all. I'm still gonna give you my praise.